In this month's editorial video, we're looking at smart technology in hotels. Today's hotelier and owners are met with various technology challenges, no matter where they look. Determining how to best apply technology requires their constant consideration. It isn't uncommon these days that the majority of hotel guests have better technology at home than when they stay at hotels. Whenever hotels are looking to introduce new technology into the business, some key considerations should be the scalability and the integration with the technology solutions that are currently being used. When it comes to smart technology in hotels, there are a growing number of options. And based on the type of hotel, the size and location, not all of these options may be necessary. So having the right technology in place offers the guests a lot of convenience, as well as enhance their overall experience. When it comes to hotel guests, impressing them with mobile solutions should not be a main motivator. Future travelers will be looking for convenience and ease of use when it comes to the technology that they interact with when they're staying at hotels. They're going to expect the technology will support a contactless option, helping reduce as many touch points as possible whilst at the hotel. Integrating mobile platforms into a guest experience is something that perhaps in a post-COVID-19 world that we're going to see more of. Mobile offers so many possibilities, it's no longer really an emerging technology, but something that is very well accepted into our everyday life. And how hotels incorporate the guest usage of their smartphone could play a lot into overall guest satisfaction and now as well the health expectations. As a guest enters the lobby, cameras can be used for facial recognition capabilities and recognize the guest from the passport photo that they used during their mobile check-in process prior to arrival. Guests can also use mobile keys and they can be activated automatically, allowing them to bypass the front desk completely and head straight to the room. Guests can provide their expected arrival time during the check-in process, allowing the hotel to manage the staff accordingly for any busier or slower times. And the same applies for housekeeping. They can review the arrival times and also prioritise the cleaning of certain rooms, which could assist in reducing guests wasting time, especially if they expect to arrive a little bit earlier. During the booking process, the guest credit card details have been tokenized and stored safely in the PCI and PSD2 compliant payment gateway. This can then allow the front office to process payments of departing guests using the tokenized details without guests having to present their credit cards. When the guest checks out via a mobile app, it will detect the room number and check it out via the PMS automatically, which updates the room status in real time so the staff can prepare for the next arrival. Make it fast and make it free. It could be again that in a post COVID-19 world, guests are going to prefer to spend a lot more time in their rooms, meaning access to their own personal content and entertainment such as Netflix, YouTube and Spotify may very well be in a higher demand. Having the ability to cast and stream their content from all of their devices to a bigger screen in the room is probably going to be greatly appreciated if not expected. Charging a fee for the internet is often a big factor in travellers choosing one hotel over another. In order for guests to have an optimal streaming experience, the internet speed is a critical factor. Slow internet service and poor Wi-Fi connectivity is not well received by guests today and will influence whether they return to stay again. Guests expect speeds to be on par with what they use at home and they want their devices to also reconnect as they enter the property and their room without having to revalidate their credentials. Big screen, 4K, ultra high definition smart TVs can be connected with Google Chromecast devices that will immediately offer the ability to stream their content so that they can push it straight from their device to the television. Also, some of these televisions today have Chromecast built into them already, so you may not need to buy those devices separately. Voice-based in-room assistance will allow the guests to order room service, request amenities such as extra towels, as well as manage the room's heating and lighting functions by adjusting the room temperature and the lights with voice commands. And again, prior to a COVID-19 world, these were kind of a nice to have on the tech landscape, but we might see them that that might not be the case anymore. 
The majority of branded global hotel chains, as well as many mid-size, smaller contemporaries, are beginning to offer their guests the option for a mobile check-in, room selection, and assignment, as well as the ability to customize their stay, receive alerts such as traffic, weather, when the room is going to be ready, and that also supports the mobile room key access and credit card payments. And this can be all done through the app. In the smart room, thermostats can also be linked to this app. And again, just like with the voice service, they can adjust the temperature uh, and the lighting directly through access on the app and their phone. Self-service kiosks are not a new technology. They've been around for some time. They can be utilized to offer a check-in and check-out service, as well as the room selection and assignment and upgrades if they're available. They also support credit card payments and the issuance of, credit, of key cards if the guest is not using their phone as the key. And just like at the front desk, kiosks can also be available as devices at each table in a restaurant or bar, or on the hotel app through the guest's device. And the digital menus are available, which offer then the opportunity for menu ordering with real-time orders then being sent directly to the kitchen, the bar, and even updating the inventory management systems. Automated payments are supported through these as well, and receipts can either be emailed directly to the guest, or if printed out, brought to the table. The traditional skepticism and reluctance to invest in digital technology generally comes from a lack of understanding. In today's world though, hotels are hosting technology aware consumers who have a certain expectation when it comes to their technological experience and they do expect it in many ways to be better than what they have at home. Again, in a post COVID-19 world, they may also appreciate the option to touch as few items as possible whilst at the hotel. Technology evolves fast. This presents both opportunities and challenges. The typical life cycles can be 5, 10 or 15 years, but even within the smallest life cycle, technology can go through at least one generation change. Begin by focusing on the fundamentals of your hotel's technology stack before implementing more advanced solutions. Make sure what you have operating today will support easy integration without time delays or costs blowing out of any new technology. Talk to your existing technology providers about what might be the best solutions for your property, but that also work with their technology. Technology can offer amazing and wide ranging opportunities. It should be looked upon as the enabler, not the solution in itself. Think about the execution as well. Where possible, pilot the technology for a period of at least 90 days. You will find that some options will work for you and others won't. And look to see what your peers have done. Learn from their experience, visit their properties and speak with them about those experiences. Ask them what they learned throughout the process. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Until next time, it's bye for now. Guys, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed that. Just as a follow-up, I've included a small video from Marriott International that highlights the amount of effort and thought that actually goes into just the guest-facing technology within their guest rooms. It should be noted that this is not being executed into or installed into every new hotel that they're building, but uh, it is a very important focus point for them. And the fact that they're dedicating so much time and effort to it shows how seriously that they're taking it. Thanks again. I hope you enjoy this. Until next time, it's bye for now. There's a lot to learn in the IoT field. The Internet of Things is really about connecting devices to the Internet so that they can be connected to each other. And if you do that on 10, 12, 13, 14 different items at once, you could set a whole room to just change while you're sitting there. I think at the core of it is it's the human behavior and expectations. Technology is playing a much larger role in our guest experience than it previously did. But there's not one guest room where all that stuff's been integrated into one thing. So we're trying to create a showcase room that helps guests understand what we're trying to do and get their feedback on whether it's really valuable. We're building this room almost like a bucket of ideas, a bucket of concepts. And we're going to find out how all those items can be interacted to create really a scene, almost like a scene of theater where everything's adjusted for that moment. Can a guest bring their personal identity into the room and that room is smart enough to understand its personal preferences and respond to it? 
So we're doing things that have never been done before. So this is, we're guinea pigging all this stuff, taking current technology and figuring out how to integrate this stuff into this guest room package. What can we do wirelessly? Where can we reuse? Now this is gonna be difficult, but that's why we have really smart people and really smart partners working with us. So we've got three different network layers that we're working with in this space. We couldn't do that with existing technology. It's just because they don't all speak the same language. It's a translation that's something that takes a lot of brain power. So we're the first to put all three of these networks together in a room using internet protocols and using a common language. Now the really interesting part is when does it start behaving uh, in a unique fashion for that particular guest. One of the things we aspire to for IoT is this ability to remember your past behaviors. So that not every hotel room is a cookie cutter. I think one of the most interesting things is when you're not in the room, the room can kind of go into a sleep mode. So we're so far out of the box right now from a standard hotel guest room. It's a challenge, but with, with Marriott and with Legrand and Samsung as partners, we're really pulling a lot of these vendors along with this bigger vision. Our vision is to be the world's favorite travel company. And so we are leveraging all of this information to help make our guests' travel experience all the better. I think it's very important to keep trying things, keep building things, even if they're like very low resolution. It's like a test bench. It's almost like a starting point. But it paves us a path of where we want to go in the future.